this is bearings which is merit at excellence level so these are some of the things we might expect, expect at that and we're going to focus on angles given as bearings as always with trig we need right angle triangles and we need two pieces of information however because bearings are a distance and a direction we generally always have two pieces of information we need the technique to focus on getting the right angle triangles so a bearing is a direction measured as if in degrees clockwise from north and we give it as a three digit number generally without the degree sign but it can be a decimal so how does that work in practice we need to know our compass directions because that's how we measure from north and here's an example due west so heading directly west is one two three lots of 90 degrees around from north so it counts as a bearing of 270 south east is 90 degrees to get to east and 45 to get to southeast so it is a bearing of 135 bearings clockwise from north as a three digit number here's a fairly standard merit question plane flies south and then east how far is it from the start what's well, the return bearing we're going to sketch so we can see what we're doing so this is our situation the plane flies south which by convention we draw to the bottom of the page with north conventionally being towards the top and then east is to the right we're going to find out the red line which is that distance a that's the first part of the question and we notice that because south and east are at 90 degrees that we have a right angle triangle then we're going to go on and find the angle b to answer the second part so first part we have a right angle triangle two sides one a third side that's pythagoras and quickly work out that the length is 6.4 so we answer our question in context 6.4 kilometers trying to find the angle b we use inverse trig we have opposite over adjacent and the angle is 51.34 however the question doesn't ask for that it asks for the bearing so i add the 270 degrees that gets me through to west and then add the 51 and that leaves my bearing as 321.34 let's do another one the boat starts 10 kilometers due east of a lighthouse so we again do a sketch we have a lighthouse and a boat dead east 10 kilometers it then sails at a bearing of 250 well 250 is towards southwest because 180 would get us to south and it's a bit more so the boat's going to sail this way until it reaches a point directly south of the lighthouse we want to find that distance not much good having the sketch we'll just convert it to a triangle so we have a right angle triangle and we have one piece of information the length of 10 we need another one the distance we need another piece of information but we use the bearing because we know there's an extra 20 degrees that gets us through to 270 and that gives us this triangle here we have a side and an angle we use trig and we find that the distance is 10.64 kilometers merit questions phrased like that where they use bearings that are automatically at 90 degrees aren't very difficult because they set up as a right angle triangle but excellence questions will not do that they will use bearings other than the standard cardinal directions and we need a technique to deal with that and that technique is to put them in a rectangle so that a series of outside right angle triangles is formed doesn't matter terribly at the scale of your drawing you just need enough room to see what you're doing and the best way to explain it is to draw it show you what I mean so here's an excellence question sales at one bearing followed by another bearing let's sketch it the first 12 K's are to the top right 
because it's 70 degrees from north. Then north always being parallel, it's 150 so it swings round and we are asked to find the return bearing which will be along the red leg, this arc here. Now the triangle formed of those three sides is not 90 degrees. So we're going to have to do something about that. Getting rid of some information, we put it in a rectangle like this. A rectangle that allows us to just hit the sides of our triangle formed. The inside triangle is not 90 degrees, but the outside ones, green, purple and red are, so we can solve them. First angle inside is 70 degrees, so that's not a problem. The next one we can find by taking the 90 degrees that was in the 150, that's outside, and 60 degrees on the inside, which leaves us with this situation here. I'm going to assume that you can do trig. So here's our calculations, it gives us these numbers here. We can then use those numbers to solve the red distances because this length along the bottom is the two upper lengths and the length here is the long side minus the short bit. So that, that gives us those two lengths there. With two pieces of information we can solve this triangle. We're needing to find that which means we need to find that angle. Inverse trig, we can calculate it as 87.2. Question doesn't ask for that, ask for the bearing. So we need to take it from north, yeah, that angle, we have 180 degrees to get us to south, a further 87.2, so the answer is 267.2 degrees. Most excellence questions can be answered in that form, putting a box around the three points on the triangle. Every now and again there's one that's much harder and we have to deal with it just slightly differently. This is an example of one of those. So two bearings, let's sketch it. First it starts at a bearing of 305 degrees. So that's up towards the northwest and then it turns around and sails at 110 which is just south of east and we want the red which is the return. When we draw those without the arrows and put in a box this is all we can do. So we add another rectangle to allow us to only have right angle triangles. Again three right angle triangles green purple and red. The purple line was at a bearing of 110, 90 degrees on the outside leaves 20 degrees on the inside so we have an angle there of 20 degrees. The green line was at a bearing of 305, 270 to get to west leaves us 35 and this is at angles and we put our sides in. At this point we have enough information to solve the green and the purple triangles, so we do, gives us these numbers here. Again we can work across the rectangle to find the dimensions of the red triangle. So the length from here to here is the long side minus the green bit, the length of the height of the red triangle is the long purple side minus the short green side which gives us these two dimensions for our red triangle. Again we are asked for a bearing, inverse tan opposite over adjacent and we find that with our 270 degrees and then our inverse tan that our answer is 285.8. We box the questions in a rectangle and we use those outside right angle triangles formed and then we work across the rectangle. Scale isn't important, however you do have to make sure 
so the rectangle sides are the long side and I'll show you an example of how that works. This was the first excellence question we did. I'm going to change it slightly so instead of being 4Ks it's from 8Ks so the 4 changes from 8. My sketch not to scale would look very similar and I would do my calculations and at this point I discover I've made a mistake because the 6.9 is longer than the 4.1 so I actually have to go away and redraw it now I'm going to do it on top here in practice in an exam you would actually have to go away and redraw your diagram so this time instead of being this being the corner point it's this so now this length is 6.9 and we have a shorter length there and at that point it's relatively easy to solve because we can move across and solve it as before. So, bearings, box them in, don't worry about scale, but do worry that you should have the correct long side, and the rest of it is straightforward achieved level 